Good morning. Terry here again. Um, first to note how I'm adjusting back to Southern California weather in the fall rather than Michigan. And in Michigan, we used to have a statement that if you don't like the temperature in the fall, just wait a couple of days, it'll probably change anyway. Here in California, it's more like if you don't like the temperature, wait a few hours. Like this morning, the furnace is running. I'm wearing more of a sweatshirt. This afternoon, Anita and I plan on going out golfing in our little nine nine hole golf course out here but we're concerned because it's going to be too hot maybe so ranging from the mid 50s to the mid 80s you know it's adjusting it's not negative it's not positive it's just different how life is constantly adjusting but what i've been thinking about this morning pondering on is a quote from elizabeth lesser um, she says Sometimes the very evils we want to fight in the world, the broken behaviors we blame on others, are also alive in us and in need of our attention, our kindness, our understanding, our healing. Sometimes what we long to see changed in the world is an inside job. Or I would change that last sentence a little bit and Often what we long to see changed in the world is also an inside job. This is called projection or dealing with our own shadow side. That sometimes the evils we want to fight in the world, the broken behaviors we blame on others are also alive in us and need our attention, our kindness, <clears throat> excuse me, our understanding, our healing. I've done this for a while that um, I watch my own emotions. And when I see something happening, I think in terms of a scale of one to 10 for my reactions. <clears throat> one would be I see something happening and I have some mild reaction to it. It's like, oh yeah, I don't care for that or that makes me uncomfortable or, or that resonates in me. That's something that I affirm. You know, very just a, a gentle kind of thing. A 10 is just almost off the scale, where I get very upset and angry and my mind starts going through reels and circling and so on. And then there's that whole in-between area. And I watch for my own reactions to things. When I see a certain leadership style or I hear something in politics or hear something that's in the courts or whatever, and then I watch for when my reaction um, almost goes off the scale, or at least my response is so gut level. I get so angry or so frustrated so quickly. I try, I've been trying to remember that I wonder what's going on inside of me that causes this kind of overreaction or surprising reaction. And sometimes it genuinely is something that's going on that is a justice issue, but how often I find that sometimes the very evils that I want to fight, that I want to push against, the broken behaviors that I blame on others and say, that person is. It's an old statement that whenever you point to somebody, remember that there are three fingers pointing back at you. Hmm. Often that's true. Those behaviors, what we want to fight in the world, are also alive in us. And then I'd, I'd like this next part that she talks about. When we find something that's alive in us, um, th then it needs our attention. Okay, that's sitting with it and saying, oh, I wonder where that comes from. What's, what's alive in me that causes that kind of reaction? <clears throat> but then what's inside of us also needs our kindness. And I've read quite a bit from the Buddhist tradition on self-compassion, being compassionate for ourselves and cutting ourselves some slack, if you will. Our kindness, our understanding, and healing inside. It's a very different thing from identifying condemning, confessing, seeking forgiveness for. Those are not all negative, but I'm not sure they process us very far. 
I like the idea of giving it our attention, sitting with it, our kindness, our understanding, and then our healing. Sometimes what we long to see changed in the world is an inside. Often it is. And what we want to see changed in the world is also something we might want to like to see changed in ourselves. So I'm thinking on this and I'm going to pay special attention in the next week or two to what are my reactions. What shadow do I have behind me that maybe I don't quite see it, I don't quite attend it, or I run away from it, or I try to ignore it? Hmm. Pay attention to it. Just sit with it and kindly self-compassion being able to sit with it and <clears throat> excuse me and say hmm i wonder where that came from what what is alive there that's maybe following me around or making it more difficult for me to encounter my world and <clears throat> maybe as i've heard and believe but i'm not sure it's gotten from my head to my heart yet that it's very hard to show compassion <clears throat> and understanding and healing to others beyond where we show compassion, understanding, and healing in ourselves. Let's think about that in our lives. When we see something on TV or hear it on the radio, or for me, what's one simple example is when I see someone who's not taking care of animals as they should. I recognize that I also have something alive in me that growing up on the farm, I look at the way we treated our animals, cats and dogs and so on, treated them more as tools to get rid of rodents and things like that, and didn't take care of them as we believe they should be taken care of now. I recognize that I need to show myself compassion and say, yeah, I wish I had that to do over again. I wish I took care more of creation, the animals, the, the world than I have. So something simple as that, or I see a leadership style and get very angry with the way they lead, the way they treat their people, and recognize in the earlier stages of my own leadership career, I did a lot of the same. So it's finding healing in myself so I can relate to the world more closely, more, more appropriately. So I'll read it once more from Elizabeth Lesser. Sometimes the very evils we want to fight in the world, the broken behaviors we blame on others, are also alive in us and in need of our attention, our kindness, our understanding, our healing. Sometimes, often, what we long to see changed in the world is also an inside job. Make some space for inside job, for compassion for self, for kindness, for understanding, seeking healing within us. And what a difference it will make, I believe, in our interactions, our connections in the world. Talk to you next time.